The crisis engulfing world athletics seems to gather pace with every passing day. A recent newspaper investigation claimed to have revealed the extraordinary extent of cheating in the sport after journalists were sent thousands of athletes' blood samples. But the head of the world anti-doping body told me today that analysis is far too simplistic. I don't think it means that people are doping at all. The first uh, set of blood uh, analysis that has been made public are independent samples and you cannot base a doping charge on one independent blood sample. Uh, that won't stand up scientifically and it won't stand up in law. The athletics authorities, he said, are working as hard as any sport to catch up with the cheats. Uh, there's sort of a testing process uh, across athletics. Uh, it still works. Uh, um, and does it? Yes, it does. Uh, people who, are ch who have been cheating are caught. The London Olympics, he said, are proof enough of that. I think we only had nine positive tests in London and out of over 10,000 athletes, I mean, that's a, I would have thought is a reasonably acceptable figure. And you think that testing process is fail-safe? I, 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 clearly it is not uh, if some people are taking substances which in the moment we cannot reliably test for. So we can't trust the results of this, week's world, of this month's World Championship? As far as in, within, within current anti-doping knowledge at the moment, we can hope that that at the moment everybody is playing true and is playing clean. The problem is that we all know now that the barrel isn't just full of good apples. Uh, it's not, but it's much fuller of good apples, I think, uh, than the last uh, 10 days uh, would indicate. The headlines may not be positive, but many athletes now welcome a light being shone into their sport. From what the scientists said, that it's a great number of people are doping in the sport. Um, but we do, um, you know, feel pleased that a positive step has been taken. But obviously, you know, there is a lot of work to do. The authorities insist they are doing all they can, but they may now struggle to convince an increasingly sceptical public. Martin Geisler, ITV News, Glasgow.